Hey, what's up my fellow YouTubers? I am Wilkshire Girl and you are watching the Wilkshire Girl Show. In this episode, I will be showing you my baking skills and how to bake simple and easy recipe. Um, now, music isn't the only thing I'm currently interested in. I love photography, baking, video, but of course, of course, but l love, but showing you people how to bake something easy going can be a very easy task but very very fun so i will be showing you how to bake simple and easy cookies not that hard if you if you're not fond of baking then i'm sure you will not like this video one bit but all in all have fun now this is possibly the most easiest thing to do in baking if you got the stuff then job well done if you don't I don't think you're going to get anywhere. Um, but anyway, for this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. You will need flour. Turn this around, actually. You need flour, half the sugar, butter, and chocolate chips. Most easiest thing ever. Now, after you have organised those stuff together on one side, you will need to measure how much you need per one pop. Now, I've just sorted out a thing. So, for butter, you need 75 grams. That's 75 grams, only a little tiny bit. For sugar, which is like there as you can see, you need 50 grams, not a lot. And flour is 125 grams. So first off, if you do this wrong by the way, it won't come out really nicely. So, first you add the butter in this one. And then you pour the sugar in and then you give it a nice stir. Preferably a wooden spoon would do. Got to make sure that while you're stirring the butter and sugar together, it has to be very fluffy. And leave no more marks because it won't turn out nice. While I say fluffy, I mean that's the fluff you really want it to go. Thing the flour. Now this can be very difficult because you have to get your hands mucky in this one. chocolate chip while it's still like a bit doughy. Pour as much as you want in. If you like chocolate then I suggest you put everything in. Like that. Discrimination. Uh, this video is especially for beginners that like to cook and like to bake. I like to bake. I started baking like a few weeks ago and I didn't know how to cook cookies until my grandma gave me a recipe book. Now it's simple and easy, but it does take a lot of work, you know. While you're mixing with your hands, it can get very, very, very fluffy and very dirty. Very dirty. The next step you might need to do is get a tray out. And some people like to put protection over the tray so you can get the dough onto the protection. I don't do that. 
I put oil on this sort of tray here and then put the dough on top of that because yeah it makes it easier. At the end of this video my dad will be, I will be video recording my dad eating the cookie <laughs> and he will tell the camera what he thinks about my bacon and I'll be asking him a few questions. So the next step is we move around here. By using some sort of brush to actually get the oil out because we've got a big big can down here, um, it will be handy to use one of these brushes to get the oil out so you can brush it on the pan ready for the dough to come on. then more than welcome but just in case I'll do the other, the biggest pan which I'll be putting my dough on so that the cookies bake don't make it too oily because it will become really oily when it's done when it's cooked more like <laughs> Now, the last but not least step is to roll the dough into shaped cookies. Okay. First, you grab like a handful of dough, put it in your hand like that. Make sure it's not too dry or not too oily, because otherwise it won't work. Preferably like that and then you squish it and then it should come out is that and I'm going to do it again for the next round ok do it again the same as I showed you last time roll it in a, in a bowl just like that and then take your other hand you Squish it until it becomes like that, a cookie shaped round. And we're all done with the dough and the rolling and stuff. So I made like four cookies, but you can make more. If you if you put your hand into it and put more ingredients in it, like more flour, more butter and more sugar, you can make millions out of this. You make up to 16 cookies if you want to, but there's four of my family, so there's two each probably. So now what you do is you put the, um, the oven on, obviously, onto 180 to um, 180 Celsius, and that's what you need. And then it takes about 20, maybe a half an hour to an hour to bake. And that's all you need. And voila! Brilliant homemade cooking by moi. That's what you get. Well done, cookie. They've got a really hot rock card now. Well, my dad's gonna try one. Dad. Oh. Crunchy. Nice. What, what's your thoughts? Nice. Mmm. Being honest? Honest, yeah. Okay. Good. Well, there you have it. Brilliant cooking by Ma. See you in the next video, guys.